Apostle John T. gave uh, some, um, uh, like uh, two prophecies concerning the year 2023, which are very shocking. And he prophesied about many things, said that there are going to be, you know, challenges, different financial problems, and so many things. But there's something which is said, which, uh, you know, you know, gets stuck in me, and uh, I like to talk about it. And, uh, you know, Apostle John T., I, I don't know why he calls himself an apostle, but he is a prophet of God. Apostle John Chi is a son of Prophet Ibn Joshua. He is one of the wise men of Prophet of Prophet Ibn Joshua. He was brought up and raised by Prophet Ibn Joshua, the Synagogue Church of All Nations in Nigeria. If you can see Apostle John Chi, his ministry, everything, he resembles Prophet Ibn Joshua. He's very powerful. He's doing a great job down there in Cameroon. If you have never been to his church, you can go to Cameroon or you can search him on the internet to go to get more information about him. Now, today we ha I'm going to talk about the two prophecies which he said. He said, number one, that one of the uh, uh, fathers, spiritual fathers in Nigeria is going to die this year. And uh, number two, he warned also about uh, the, uh, there's going to there's gonna be a threat to, you know, atomic war, nuclear war in the world hello guys thanks for watching i'm clear for sonyama clear with him and this is christian media where we bring you news commentaries bible based teachings gospel music plus many more and if you want to donate to this ministry to support us financially use the information on the screen and don't forget to subscribe thank you now listen to what he says one of the fathers of faith God's general, who is well known, has fought the good fight and has finished the race well. And now he's on his way. Un général de Dieu bien connu a couru la bonne course, a combattu le bon combat, il est maintenant sur son chemin de partie. To the land of no return. Vers la vie éternelle. He has fought the good fight. Now, he says that uh, one of the fathers in Nigeria, spiritual fathers in Nigeria is going to die. I don't know who he's talking about because uh, I've had so many people saying that, I've, I've, I've seen so many prophecies, people saying that uh, Papa D.E.A. Adeboe, Pastor Enoch Adeboe of the Redeemed Church is not going to make it. God is taking him home. I've had so many people giving out uh, that prophecy is it true is uh enoch adeboe going i don't know but because he is a father he is a father he is the father of bishop Redepo and he's a father of many many nigerian preachers so uh, uh there's this uh, speculation that he's the one who's going because uh if you even look at him he's old you know he's quite old he's older than most of them is old so i think maybe he has finished his, his assignment and god uh, might decide to take him but i'm not sure if it's him so we will we'll, we'll wait and see what will unfold in this year 2023 because apostle john chi said clearly that one of the fathers in nigeria is going home god is taking him and uh, the prophecies of apostle john chi are very accurate last year he prophesied about the war in Russia and Ukraine. He prophesied. You can check the videos. Like, uh, go and search uh, the Apostle John Chi 2022 prophecies. He prophesied about Russia and Ukraine and it happened. He prophesied about the, the economic challenges and he said that um, I remember his words. He said that what 1,000 can buy, 2,000 cannot buy. He prophesied it and you see uh, in the course of last year the prices of commodities went up cooking oil, everything, everything was expensive. And even this year, he, he, he said that the same will still continue. We will still continue. So people should, you know, should learn how to save. So the, his prophecies are very true. I'm not talking about uh, this junior prophet. This, this one is a very senior prophet, a son of Prophet Tim He's very accurate in whatever he says. So we we'll wait and see if any of uh, the fathers in Nigeria is going away. And if the father is one of the fathers is dying or is going, it doesn't necessarily mean that there's a sin or what. You know, many people like to speculate so many things. We come up with so with so many theories. 
when God decides to take his servant, that means that his time is up and he has finished his assignment and he has to go. So let's wait and see what will unfold. Now, listen to what he says again. Listen. All over the world. J'ai vu quelque chose d'effrayant qui va créer la panique partout dans le monde. Only God can stop this evil plan of mass destruction they are planting. Seul Dieu peut empêcher cette masse, cette destruction massive qu'ils sont en train de comploter. This nuclear weapon is not a good one. Cette arme nucléaire n'est pas une bonne œuvre. We should pray that the war between Russia and Ukraine should not go out of control. Remember, I said it at the beginning of the year, before the whole thing started. Now, he says that uh, there's going to be a threat in this, uh, this year. Atomic, uh, no, is it atomic war? No, uh, nuclear war. Yeah, let me use the right word nuclear war and uh, uh, he has really uh, warned us to pray and uh, as you can see as per now this prophecy is is uh, you know it is you, you can see it trying to come to pass because just recently china had a balloon sent to america a spying balloon i don't know what kind of balloon it's not a normal children balloon which you you you, you put up on your birthday there's a certain balloon which China had, uh, had sent to the United States to spy. And uh, uh, after being there for, for a few hours or days, the Americans put the, the balloon down. So you see, now you, you can see now this, uh, this prophecy of you know, nuclear war is coming to pass. And you can see now, as you can see now, uh, there are nations which have made an alliance, uh, like Russia and uh, China and, uh, you know, uh, Iran and this uh, uh, Saudi Arabia, you know, South Africa. These nations are making an alliance. I don't. They call the, They call themselves BRIC, BRIC nations. They are making an alliance. So they they want to do away with the dollar. They are not going to use the dollar. They are going to see how they are going to use. I don't know which currency which they are going to use. You see, now they are making an alliance. You can see now this is just. Uh, uh, it shows if this pace continues, it can trigger a nuclear war. If this pace continues, the way uh, nations are coming up, forming alliances, forming you know groups, you know, you understand, and also you know, the American is still the superpower. He wants you know to enforce his superpower upon the earth. So they they can they can there's a they are, there's a threat of that you know that tension and i pray that that tension will not lead to nuclear war because these guys have weapons they have weapons and once this and once they could they begin to use this weapon it won't be good for anybody on the face of the earth because these weapons have a um, chemical impact upon the earth an impact which can last from generation to generation so we need to pray over this issue just as apostle john chi is saying so you just look at the situation in the world right now. The situation is not good. The situation is not good. These alliances, alliances which are being formed, they are not good. And still we have the war between Russia and Ukraine is going on. Now it, it is from this war, if you're not careful, it's from this war, other wars are going to be triggered. So we need to be careful so, so that the war in Ukraine and Russia doesn't escalate, doesn't go beyond Ukraine and Russia. Because if it goes beyond UK and, Ukraine and Russia, and then we have Iran coming in, we have China backing them, we have you know other nations backing them, it's, it won't, won't going to be good for us. So we need to pray for, for, the, for, for God to, to intervene so that peace can prevail. We also need to pray for, for the leaders so that you know sometimes, you know, Pride leaders can be proud. They don't want to, to listen to what other people are saying. So well, let's pray for our leaders, the leaders in this nation, so that they can come together at least. Um, they come up with a solution to avoid war. Because right now, we don't need war. Because if this continues, 
you see, you see now China is already spying on America. Is sending a balloon. I don't know what next is going to send. Just last week, China sent a spying balloon to America. I don't know what next is it going to say. Is it a missile? Is it what? I don't know. I'm not going to, to, to comment on that. But let's pray for God to help us. Now, this is what Apostle John, he prophesied. There are so many prophecies which he gave, which he gave concerning the year 2023. Kindly go to his YouTube channel and uh, or you can just go on YouTube and search Apostle John Chi 2023 prophecies and listen. You can also search Apostle John Chi 2022 prophecies and listen. If you listen to Apostle, it's called Apostle John Chi. C-H-I. John Chi. If you listen to his 2022 prophecies, you, you'll discover everything which he said came to pass. And these prophecies were released in January. It's not something which he said after the incident has happened. No. He released them prior to what? Prior to the happenings. So guys, let's be prepared. Go and watch. And I believe that it's going to help you to plan and to pray to intercede for the nation of the world. So guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.